If you're anything like me, the hardest part of any diet for you is staying away from sweets, especially chocolate. That's why I've come up with this recipe for vegan truffles that have a very chocolatey flavor and they're sweetened with dates so you don't have any extra sugar in your diet. I've started off by putting one cup of whole walnuts in a food processor. I'm going to go ahead and add six dates that I've pitted. I've just removed the pit from the center. Add that right in there. And I'm also going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and this is unsweetened cocoa powder. You're just going to go ahead and blend that together. You want to get a paste consistency that sticks together, and I'll show you what we do after we have that. So I've pulsed the mixture together for a few minutes, and you'll know when it's ready when it all starts to um, stick together. And now I'm just taking tablespoonfuls of the mixture, and as you can see, it sticks together really easily. That's how I know it's ready. And I'm just going to roll it into little truffles. And once I have these all rolled out, I'm going to put them in the freezer for about 20 or 30 minutes, and I will dip them in a chocolate coating, and I'll show you how to make that when we come back. So I've let the vegan chocolate truffles chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and now I'm going to make the chocolate coating that's going to cover these truffles. And I have two teaspoons of organic raw coconut oil that I've melted in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And I'm adding two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. So you always want to do a two to one ratio, and this will give you a nice thick coating. And I'm actually not going to add any sweetener to this chocolate coating because the dates in the truffles actually give it a lot of sweetness. I just like the different textures. When you cover the truffles with this coating, it really makes you feel like you're eating a piece of chocolate. If you did want to sweeten it, you can add some stevia, you can even do honey or a teaspoon of real sugar. It's up to you. So once you blend that all together, and I actually finished these off in the freezer for about 10 minutes because you want them really cold. So once this cold truffle hits this, um, the coconut oil in here, it's going to harden really quickly and give you a chocolate shell. So I'm just going to put this in here and make sure that I coat it all the way around and just put it back on my cold plate. And you can do this with all of the truffles. And if you'd like, you can put it back in the fridge for about 10 minutes or so, so that the chocolate really sets. I love making these ahead of time, and that way, if you are trying to eat healthy and trying to stay away from refined sugar, you can just grab one um, if you get a chocolate craving, which for me is all the time. So there we go. I'm just going to do about three of them. And I hope you try this recipe and let me know what you think. I'll see you again soon.